SMS vulnerability could enable hackers to track users' locations. Researchers have issued a warning against a new vulnerability in text messaging that may allow hackers to trace users' locations. As of now, the vulnerability has been observed mainly in Android operating systems. Welcome to VAR India News R. The vulnerability lies in the automated delivery notification feature of SMS. The research group explains that this flaw allows hackers to track a user's location using a machine learning program and data from the SMS system. By obtaining the victim's phone number and normal network access, hackers can monitor the victim's location worldwide. Just by knowing the phone number of the user victim and having normal network access, you can locate that victim. The research further notes that, despite some improvements in SMS security over the years, this flaw persists due to the timing of delivery notifications, which enables attackers to automatically triangulate the victim's location when a text is sent. A report further details that the vulnerability lies in the automated delivery notification feature of SMS. When a user receives a text message, their phone automatically sends a delivery receipt with a timestamp indicating their location. Though this feature wasn't initially problematic, but hackers can now employ machine learning to create an algorithm capable of detecting these timestamps and detecting the user's location. The study further reveals that to use machine learning to find a location, hackers will only need the target victim's phone number and have regular network access. By sending multiple text messages to the victim's phone, the hacker can then monitor the timing of the automated delivery replies and collect location data fingerprints irrespective of whether the communications are encrypted. To reveal the vulnerability with the fingerprint stamp in SMS, the researchers used a machine learning model to feed and test the data, which resulted in revealing the real-time location of the targeted individual. The report further warns that the hackers can track a user's location using SMS by exploiting the automated delivery notification feature and employing machine learning to predict their location based on the timestamps received from the victim's phone. Let's look into today's headlines. Fidelity marks down Bakshap with $700 million. The asset management company Fidelity Investments has marked down the fair value of Bakshap, a conversational messaging unicorn, to about $700 million. In August 2021, Fidelity bought a stake in Gupshap for about $16 million and the company has marked down its fair value as of June 2023 to a little over $8 million. Foxconn Industrial Internet rejects claims of signing deal with Tamil Nadu government. It is reported that Foxconn's subsidiary Foxconn Industrial Internet has claimed that the company has not signed any agreement to invest 16 billion rupees that is 194.6 million dollar in Tamil Nadu. The Tamil Nadu government on Monday said that it has signed a deal with Foxconn for a new electronic components manufacturing facility that would create 6000 jobs. Dell Technologies brings new AI offerings to accelerate secure generative AI initiatives. Dell Technologies introduces new offerings to help customers quickly and securely build generative AI models on premises to accelerate improved outcomes and drive new levels of intelligence. These solutions help organizations of all sizes and across industries securely transform and deliver better outcomes. Vinny Bansal departs from Flipkart. Flipkart co-founder Vinny Bansal, along with Axel and Tiger Global Management, have exited from the company. As reportedly, the trio have fully divested their stakes, selling them to Walmart. This development comes five years after Sachin Bansal, another co-founder of Flipkart, sold his entire stake to Walmart back in 2018. Nazara Technologies ropes in Christopher Franklin to head its premium gaming business. Nazara Technologies has hired Christopher Franklin to head its mobile gaming subsidiary Next Wave Multimedia. The company is aiming to grow its premium gaming business. Franklin comes with over 20 years of experience in the gaming industry. He recently served as the game design director at the video game publisher Electronics Arts for about a year. That's all for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to Bar India magazine. You can download the War India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for more news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.